What is up everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great, and I hope you're all staying safe. Today's video is another one of those really exciting ones. However, I have to hold my excitement because I don't actually have the device that I'm super excited for in my hands yet. In fact, we're waiting for the delivery courier as we speak. You guys know I like to unbox and set things up with you for like the first time impressions. So yeah, so guys, it is the next day. And as many of you may know, there's a reason for that. However, that also means that now we've got a stream deck. Not that I can do anything with it on video, but it also means we've got the package. I talked a lot about BCIs in the past, and I have contacted Nextmind, and I asked them whether they would like to send one over for the channel to check out, for me to review for you guys, and I'm gonna test out a few things with this thing that some skeptics uh, were saying on the Discord server. You guys wanted me to test one of these out, so you guys were talking about them, and you had no clue that I was gonna receive this and test it out for you guys. Someone said they thought it was voice controlled because everybody constantly said what they were going to do before it happened, so I'm gonna do like a silent moment here as well, just to prove to you that it is, as a matter of fact, not voice controlled. But this is the Next Mind dev kit, and I am so unbelievably excited to test this thing out. First of all, unboxing experience is always extremely important for me, and this thing comes in one of the nicest packaging I have ever seen. And you might think, okay, th this isn't so nice. Check this out. Look at that. Instant fingerprint magnet, sure, but come on. Tell me that green and black does not look good. But I'm not going to be sitting here and just absolutely... I I'm keeping this box. I'm going to do something with this box. So here it is, the Next Mind dev kit. We've got the brain computer interface device here, and I'm assuming we've got cables here. This thing is a fingerprint magnet right now. So looking at this, it looks utterly amazing. Just like the presentation. I love the presentation. Let your brain take control. Wow. Absolutely unbelievable. And... Back here, Ooh, this is something else. Look at this. It has like little probes here or something. Damn. And it's USB Type-C. You guys know how much I love USB Type-C. That is absolutely unbelievable. Thank you so much for making USB Type-C. I'm trying to go universal. I'm trying to change all my cables to USB Type-C. So that is quite a big thing for me right there. Then we get, I assume this would be a headband so that you can put it on your head. I'm going to try and mount it to my headset and we get the Type-C cable and a tiny little getting started manual. Now it seems that this will not work with the Elite head strap. So I'm going to need to put the old head strap back onto my Quest. No issue with that. But uh, yeah, let's install the necessary software and check this thing out. So because I want to share as much of this as possible with you guys, powering it on is actually pretty simple. All you do is you press the little power button and the LED just turns on. Pairing it with my PC, I'm going to assume it has Bluetooth. I'm going to try connect it and I'll let you guys know. So what you do is you hold the button on the device for four seconds. The light will start blinking. Now it's in pairing mode. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Bluetooth settings on your laptop or computer and search for new devices. Once you have found the device, it's as simple as just connecting to it. The next step is also pretty simple. You open up your web browser and go to next-mind.com forward slash start. This will take you to download and install the software that you will require in order to start your next mind device. Okay, so my Oculus Quest is charging up. I've got the device set up on the back of my head here using the strap they provided. So basically we're gonna go through the first steps. Yeah, we're gonna go through that now. I'm gonna make this a tiny bit tighter, which is actually just as simple as pulling on these little things here. Cause my head's tiny. So now we have it strapped onto the back of my head. And we're recording. So, okay, so first we're gonna set up and calibrate. So all the contacts have turned green, which means the pressure we have is very good. Keep the electrodes touching the scalp, okay? So we need to move it up and down to make sure that it's connecting through the hair, and it is, so that's perfect. And now let's start calibration. So you'll be shown three green lines as illustrated here, and just relax and focus on them. They will start forming a triangle. Hold still during the whole sequence for about 45 seconds for optimal calibration. Okay. Yes, we're calibrated. Good job. We got a score of four, guys. That's almost a perfect score. Pretty happy with that. That is so cool. Okay, so what I did there is I focused on the different discs to see how well it's been calibrated. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. <gasps> that is so cool. Oh, oh my. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you guys now very quietly which one I'm going to focus on to the microphone. I'm going to focus on the left one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like an anime girl right now. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's try Neuro TV. Control your TV screen with your mind. Let's try that. Select your channel. Oh my god. That. So just here. <laughs> oh my god. That is... That is so... Cool. Let's try Music Composer. Okay, I'm gonna go to main menu again. Let's try the platformer. This is gonna be interesting because I have no clue how a platformer would work. Press left and right arrows to move. Okay, press the up arrow to jump. Focus on the rocks to free the path. Whoops. What else do we got here? Pin pad. Okay. Let's try let's try this, okay? Tap here to generate. Okay, 1963. Okay. 1 That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. Let's try putting something incorrectly this time. 6 So, that is unbelievably cool, and all of this works so incredibly well, I could be geeking out like an anime girl right now. But, let's try it out in VR, because there is a little VR game that you can play using this, and I'm really excited to try that out, because after all, there's so many possibilities that you can do with this thing in VR. So, without any further ado, let's just do that right away. So, I'm gonna exit to desktop, I'm gonna take this off my head, and I'm going to show you guys how to mount it onto your Oculus Quest head strap because it's as simple as just unlocking the device right here, uh, taking the device off, then you grab your Oculus Quest head strap, the flimsy one, and you just strap it on like so. Ta-da! Look at that. So now I'm going to strap this onto the Quest and uh, I'll be right back to you guys. So I'm not going to be using any controllers for this whatsoever. And we're playing with nothing but our brain right now. In fact, I have my hands in my pockets. Important that you avoid moving around and focus as much as possible on their brain to destroy them. Sure, we'll do. Let's begin with a training session. Okay. Follow my hollow ground beam. Oh yes, and I'm not speaking for all those skeptics out there that thought it was by voice control, so I'm not speaking to show you that this is actually using my brain right now. I can't get a few of them, I don't really know where exactly I'm supposed to focus. 
but when it works, it's well the coolest done. thing ever. You can check your performance on the panel. Which panel? That one? Brain power 0%. Oh no. We are under attack. We detected Xenos on board. You need to run away. Focus on the teleporter to reach an escape pod. Two ways. Xenos are already on rescue deck. They will capture you. Uh oh. Okay, guys, now it is the moment. Wake up. Wake up. This is Colonel Shepard speaking. Yes. You are on planet Victoria. The oh. Xenos have captured you during your escape. I'll oh. guide you to the extraction point. Where okay. We'll pick you up if you're still alive. Uh, wow. Thanks. Okay. I've activated a neuro teleporter. You can escape. What's going on? I forgot to turn off the alarm. Well, it's going to be tougher than expected. You must fight back and dodge Kay. their energy blasts. Avoid the energy blasts. Move ha, so that one didn't even... Hit. Where do I go? Okay. Oh. Okay, so when I speak, I lose concentration, which makes sense, because that's, uh, I'm a person that has very high, like, low concentration levels, so I can't be speaking. I need to focus. Yes! Perfect. You can teleport. Let's go. Where are you at? One down. Okay. Hell yeah. Ah, fantastic. The next teleporter is active. You can move on. Oh. Okay. That is something else, but considering I, I'm going to finish here because look, look how sweaty I am right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is incredible. Let's jump back to the main setup so that we can do a conclusion. Okay, so instantly there are a few things that just instantly come to mind. And the first thing is this is probably one of the coolest things I have ever tried because it is something that like you'd think, oh yeah, this will only happen in the future. And now it is the future. It works so damn well. Like I would have not expected it to work this well. In 2D applications on PC, it reacts really, really fast. For some reason, for me in VR, it was a lot harder. I have a strange feeling this may have something to do with the fact that I can't really see on this eye. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but for me in VR, it was a lot harder to focus than it was on 2D applications on the display here, which worked pretty much as soon as I thought of them, which is really, really cool. In VR, I was having a little bit of issues, but again, I think that might just be me. And maybe the fact that I was less concentrated because it was so hot and I was sweating like absolutely horribly. So I think those factors come into consideration here, but I am highly impressed. This is absolutely incredible. And this is the next step forward. This is the next step forward. Now, this is also one of the first steps forward. And we all know that, you know, being first is great and is incredibly amazing and all of that. However, there does need to be refinement. I did ask a bunch of other people in my family to try it out. And my mom got like a two and we tried multiple times and she still got like twos on the brain calibration. However, my brother got the highest mark out of all of us. And for him, it worked even better than it did for me. So, I do realize that every brain is different, but if this is going to go into the masses, 
I feel like it needs to be much more universal for more and more people to be able to use it. However, I do also realize that that could be user error and we could just be calibrating things incorrectly. Not only this, but with being first also comes with a bunch of limitations. As we all know, this currently is a dev kit. There isn't much things for your average consumer here right now. Not many games and not many applications that would support it, but it is an incredible, amazing step forward. And I am so impressed. Next mind, thank you so much for sending this over. I am highly impressed. A link for this will be down in the description below in case you guys do want to check it out. It is impressive and I have, I can't say much more. I ha my mind is blown and I'm probably gonna make a pun out of that and make it into the title. But either way, this is incredible. And I am so happy that we got to test this out. So many of you wanted me to test it out and hopefully I eliminated a few of those thoughts that maybe it was voice activated by just staying completely silent during those. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's video. No meme review today because this video has gone on for long enough, judging by the fact that I have five voice clips, each of a extremely long duration. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, I guess this spot works too, but please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys are not yet part of the community, but would like to join, there's a discord server down below. There's a Reddit down below where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. And if you guys want to support the channel in any way, shape or form, we've got sick merch down below or on mysticalstore.com, hoodies that don't put an ad on your body, and mugs that boost your FPS by 300%. And if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.